Hello everyone, I'm just doing a very quick update. So this is the uh, computer, but it has been transferred over to a protoboard. So yeah, uh, CPU's there, UR chip, uh, ROM, RAM, and uh, some chips for decoding and things like that. Reset button, and uh, I've wired up the uh, serial socket. And I got the power socket here. And it looks like a giant mess of wires. Uh, this is my first time wire wrapping, so uh, yeah, it's kind of messy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've also replaced that big crystal with a smaller one I've ripped out. Uh, because I have actually recently got a new solder iron. It's like a solder station. Uh, yeah, there's a solder iron, and that's for solder. However, this this is pretty cool. Uh, it's a desolder gun, and uh, how it works is this tip heats up and melts the solder, and then you push this button, and it sucks it up into this canister right here. So, cool device. I've actually been able to harvest tons of chips. But anyway, uh, right now I'm writing up uh, the operating system for the CPU. And what I have right now is it, when it boots, it clears the memory in here. It actually does a clear for the memory here and here too, but since there's nothing wired up, it just it throws an error and continues on. So, yeah, it'll clear all three memories. If there's an error in the memory, it tells you what position, and uh, then it clears zero page, and then it starts asking for uh, commands. Uh, after the clearing, uh, I've coded up uh, a subroutine that pull, uh, grabs a maximum of 128 characters uh, and throws them into a buffer, into a piece of, of memory, and then you can do stuff with that. So, in this case, it would uh, act on whatever the command is. Uh, but right now that's not built yet. All it's doing is receiving data, storing it, and then throwing a null terminator at the end when you push enter. So I'll just plug it in and show how it boots. So let's plug it in here. Here's putty. I'm going to push the reset. And boom. So it's checking, it's clearing all of RAM 1. And there you go, uh, RAM 2 and 3 failed. Uh, I think there's a bug in my, uh, in the uh, error detection. Because <laughs> uh, there's no such thing as I and Q. Uh, but I'll figure that out. And uh, it clears the zero page. And then you can start. And uh, this thing actually handles echo. So you don't use local echo on this computer. So when you push a button, it'll send it back to the terminal. There's only one bug right now with this. And for some reason, backspace. It sends it back, so Putty knows to remove the next character. However, in the data, it's not doing that. It's actually storing the key and incrementing the amount of data, uh, amount of characters on screen. So, what happens is this. Let's keep pushing it. It's going to hit the 128k limit and then get stuck. Not right there. So, you hit the 120. It thinks there's 120 characters because it counted the other ones. So, I don't know what the bug in that is. So if I push that button, but what it should look like is this. And that, that's the limit. So yeah, that is the uh, computer. Thanks for watching.